What's up YouTube, welcome to this very quick tutorial about picking typography sizes and setting up your line height for your web design work. Now this isn't you know the only way to do things, it's just how I do things and you know it's actually it's never failed. I used to be really bad at this stuff um, when I was younger and now it's like second nature and if you follow these rules to start with then I think you'll you'll be fine. I mean it's worked on every website I've designed. Um, so here's how we do it. First things first is we need to pick a base size for our body copy, right? So any paragraphs throughout your website, you need to pick a base size. Now I pretty much always go with 16. 16 is perfectly legible, it's a decent size. Um, you might want to think about your audience here. So for example, if you're designing something that might be, you know, viewed by like an older audience, they might not have as good sites, you might want to increase that to 18 or something like that, or maybe 20, you know, you can do some research there. But if you start with 16, I think you'll be fine. So I'm in Figma, I'm going to show you how I'll do it. So I'm going to draw out a text box first, I always start with my body copy. So anything like that for now, and I have a plugin called Lorem Ipsum. Um, and I can just generate, let's say, 12 sentences generate. There we go. Um, and I'm going to have this in Noto Sans just to start because I quite like that font and here's my first tip you want to generally generally speaking so at the moment this document is 1440 pixels wide so that's the size of a macbook pro screen right if your text was this long it would actually be very difficult to read because you'd have to turn your head to read it so you want to keep people's head straight you want to make it as easy as possible for them to read so a good tip i often start maybe about 700 pixels wide for a text box Obviously it depends on your design, but that seems to work pretty well. And you want to have sort of, I don't know, 10 to 15 words on the line or something like that. Don't go too overboard, but you can test it because you have eyes, right? So you just read it. If you see it's difficult to read, you're probably doing something wrong. Um, now, before we go into line height and stuff like that, um, let's set the let's talk about the sizes right so we set our base size is 16 and what we need to do now is to pick a typography scale so this is how each header scales up so we know we need to get up to an h1 so that's the main header on any website and then we'll need an h2 which is slightly smaller an h3 even smaller four five sometimes a six depending on your work and the size of the project um, then we have our body copy and then we might have something a bit smaller which I like to call label which may be something that you might put underneath an image you know photography by blah 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 you don't want it to you know take up as much prominence as your body copy or your headlines but just a smaller bit of text so the best way to get these scales is to come to this website type-scale.com and over on the left here you can pick a font so this doesn't really matter but let's just, you know, for consistency, and you can pick a weight. So if you wanted bold, you could put 700 in there or something. Let's just go 500. You can have change your preview text. Let's write Tom is amazing. We all know that. Right, so our base size, we've already decided is 16. And this is a major third scale, which means starting from the uh, font size 16, the next one up would be 16 times 1.250, and that would give us... 20 right and then again it's 25 and then it goes up to 31 it goes up to 39 and then your h1 would be 48 right so if we're saying that the top one is our h1 this is our h2 h3 h4 h5 body copy label and then this is just tiny so this is font size 10 you could use that as your label i mean it's not too small but as you can see i think it's a bit too small i probably would never use this one so we know that our next one is going to be 20, right? This is using a major third scale. If you click here, you can see other scales and how they sort of multiply. So going up here, these will be smaller. So if I go to minor third, you can see sort of the graduation is a little bit smaller. And if we go down here, we can see it gets absolutely ridiculous. I mean, I probably wouldn't do 121 on a website. If it's just one word, maybe that would work. Um, but a major third is always pretty good. It's pretty standard. It's quite smooth scaling. Sometimes I use a perfect fourth. So you see the sort of H1 gets a lot bigger there. And it depends on the content and your audience and what you're saying. If it's something that's a bit bolder and a bit more shouty, maybe you would use that. So all you do is you pick your you pick your scale. So we're going to go with this one. And I know my next one's going to be 20, then 25, then let's say 31. So just come in back into my Figma document. And I'm just going to put... 
this is an H5 for my reference and I know it's going to be 20 right and I'll probably pop that in bold and then what I'll do is I'll sort of keep adding to these making them bigger and then I'll set them all as styles so now we should talk about line height at the moment this is very condensed right I think it's quite difficult to read and at default this will be set to 120 percent of its font size right so it should be 16 Right, let's just test it. So it says it's 22, so you do 16, then use an asterisk, which acts as a times, like a multiply, and do, uh, what did I say, 1.2? Ah, 19.2, right? So that's just tiny, right? That's really difficult to read. So I was wrong. It's not 120%. I don't know what it is. Anyway, I always do, for body copy, times by 1.5. It's 150% of its base body copy size. Right, and now it's opened up, and I think that's just given it a bit of breathing room. It's quite easy to read. Also, what you can do in Figma is if you press this button here, then your text box will auto expand. So if you've got less copy in there, it just closes up and you don't have to manually drag it. It's just a nice quality of life thing. So 150% for your line height is pretty good for your body copy. And then we press this little button here, let's add a text style, and I'm just going to call this P for paragraph, create style, boom this one right now we're into headers okay with headers I like to do my line height at 120 percent rather than 150 so if you think about just having two lines of text you don't want a massive gap between them they need to be quite close you know they're connected it's quite easy to read you don't need as much breathing room so I always do 120 percent and then if it starts to look weird when I'm designing I can come back into my styles and edit them but 120 always works okay so we come here and we do 20 times 1.2 that gives us 24 and that's good to go so we just come in here click this h5 and then we can just hold alt drag this up let's call this at h4 let's check our scale 25 so we come back in here and we just unlink it there we say it's now 25 we do 25 times 1.2 gives us 30 this is an H4, so we just come in here, add a new one, H4. And then we do an H3, which I think was 30, 31. We could round up or down. I'm going to round down. Let's go 31. So let's break that and go 31. 31 times 1.2 gives us 37.2. I'm going to round that down. Let's go 37. And let's add that as a style. H3. We're nearly there. This is really exciting. But basically what we want to do is we're going to do all of this work first before you start designing. And then we'll have a style sheet, all of our styles here, and then we'll make a new page for our actual design. And then you can, we'll tag everything as H1, H2, paragraph and stuff like that. And if it starts to look a bit dodgy or you want to change anything, you just come back over here, change it and update your styles and it will update across all of your documents. It's just the best way to do things. Okay, so let's just fix our H2 and our H1. So we know our H2 is going to be 39. So come back in here, let's go 39. And then, you guessed it, 39 times 1.2, 46.8. Did you guess that? Probably not. Designers are usually bad at maths. And we'll come in here and let's go 1, H1. And we know, I think this is going to be 48. So 48, 49, something like that. I'm going to go 49. Go big or go home. 49 times 1.2 gives us 58.9. Let's round that up to 59. Did we save this? Nope. Did we save this? Yes. So we need to come in here, add our H2, add our H1. Okay. And then let's just move this up, make it a bit neater. Let's drag this down here and let's go. This is our label text. Let's break that. Let's take it out of bold. I don't think I want it to be bold. And I think we said it was, I don't think, 12.8. So let's go. I'm going to go 12 because I'm not going to have a big range of sort of different smaller text. I'm just going to have one. So let's go 12. And this, because it's only probably, I'm not going to use this as like paragraphs of text. It's only going to be sort of like one line or two lines maybe. So I'm going to go with 120% as my line height. So times 1.2, 14.4. Uh, let's round that down to 14 and then let's save this as label and then what you can do is you can drag a box around this and just distribute the spacing evenly and let's drag it into the middle of the page so it looks good like that 
and then let's close that off so it's just all nice and neat so there we go that's it that's how I do every project it's how I start every single project and then if I'm over here and I'm designing something right so say I'm like okay uh, this is our website's main headline I can come over here and I'm just going to choose H1 that looks pretty pretty rubbish but you know and I'm just going to copy this paragraph over here da, 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 da. Um, okay so say this is our website and we're like oh actually I don't quite like it I actually think it all needs to be in a different font I just keep this here so if I updated this if I changed the font here see I actually can't right so it's all locked because it's behind its style so you just click on the style press the little sort of slidey toggle thing then you can edit the style and you can say actually instead of this being bold I think all our H1 should be regular there you go and then you just come out here and you can see it's updated here so that's how that's how you do it easy peasy so that is quick tip number one let me know in the comments below if there's anything that you really want to find out how to do as long as it's like a quick thing and I'll get it done very quickly for you um, also you can let me know if, if it's something longer but you might just have to wait a little bit anyway hope you're all having a great day it's Sunday here it's time for me to go and walk my dog in the park see you in the next video